All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Simplistic, and welcome back to another video. Now, guys, one of my biggest pet peeves in life, in all of my life, is getting taken advantage of. Just for example, if I had a brand new PlayStation 5 and I took it to GameStop right now, they would offer me a whopping $5. What is that? Or if I try and sell the shoes right off of my feet at a shoe store, obviously they are trying to get me at the lowest price possible. But what is the biggest culprit of them all? Where does this all source from? And who came up with this Ponzi scheme? These rats right here. You know, you bring in an item that you think has value, something with meaning to you, and they are here to remind you it's not worth a damn thing. So today we are gonna be buying the biggest scams out of every pawn shop in my city. The biggest stereotype about these places is they try and get the most out of you. But you know, not all places are the same. I am genuinely excited to see what kind of items I walk out with today if they even work, but best believe, I'm not getting taken advantage of. AJ's Super Pawn Fast Cash. Since I'm a YouTuber, I know clickbait the most. Like, whenever I see stuff like this, it just seems too good to be true. Fast cash? I can go in there and just get some fast cash real quick? Okay. Didn't know they were watching The Flash. So some items we see so far, we got a blender. Okay, make some smoothies in the morning. I'm really hoping to walk out with something video game related so I can go home and play. Maybe a GameCube, PlayStation 1, Xbox 360. Documenting our experience, we just try, try and buy items and stuff like that. Cool. Yeah. Check it out. Awesome. Check it out. I came in here and they're cool recording. That's already a plus. Customer service, A1. But yo, we got some skateboards right here. So this one is priced at 70. I don't know the actual value of this board, but I think we should try and go for something that's like an electronic. Oh, this already caught my eye. We got some lenses right here. I have a lens that's compatible with this camera. We can just get it and test it out. You know, that'd be cool. The goal is to get something that's way too good to be true. Like the price is just mind blowing. Bro, I haven't rode a bike since like at least elementary school. That might be like the right price for that, but that's just... <laughs> really too high. My last video when I said yes to a subscriber for the whole day, he had an Android and he said he got bullied at school. Guys, if kids at your school have an Android, don't bully them. Just tell them the Apple is better and it's superior. That's all you have to say. Is that what I think it is? That is. That right there is an iPad worth $229. From what I know, iPads are pretty expensive, so that's a pretty good deal. We might come back to that. But here is my section, bro. This is where I get intrigued. This is where really add some spice to my day. You feel me? So we have, oh, we have a PS4 for 200. We'll connect. Bro, I remember when those first came out, I remember where everyone with that type of mic would just be echoing in the lobby because it was so far from where they were talking. But I think all we do see is PS4s here. Considering that PS4s aren't really getting made as much, I feel like that's a pretty good deal as well. Give me some deal. Keep it for real. Life is a thrill. And that's until we get the right thing that we've been looking for. I think what it's looking like so far is we either get a tablet or a PS4. Now let's do some research. So from what it looks like, a PS4 right now goes for around like 300, depending on the storage. Brother Wayne, when you have a chance, can we see something over here? Absolutely. Hey, Ruben. Thank you. Can we check out this uh, little Apple product over here? It's the, the tablet right there. I think it's an iPad. What's the price on this one right here? So this one we're asking 229. Okay. Honestly, we've had it for a sec. Uh, I would do as low as 180. Okay. What's the um, storage? So this is a 32 gig. It's a 7 Oh, gen. you know what? Um, can we put this up front? Yeah, for sure. I'm going to consider either that one, and can we also grab... I was thinking a PS4, man, because I feel like, no, you can never go wrong with one of those. But the I thing is, like, the... Xbox is taking L's recently, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're not really up there. Yeah, I'll make you a crazy deal on the PlayStation if you want one. Crazy deal. That's... Crazy deal. I'll do 160 for you guys on that. 160 for the PS4. Okay. Bro, look at this. They got coins worth as much as the electronics that I'm trying to get right now. That's crazy. Can we check out that one right there? These particular ones are actually really cool so they're actually like uh, multi tools that's why bro it's a custom piece here so it's an actual coin but the the guy Me like molded it, it into a yeah he built a multi tool out of it that looks like a swiss army knife in a coin that's so cool not much too you can cut your hair you know dude that's insane the nuggets of miami i don't know it's, it's looking like the nuggets we're not gonna say sonics because why next year who's on, who's your favorite player on the sonics right now <laughs> Whoa. what's that kobe one right there yo Kobe Bryant bobblehead. That's like an OG one. Yeah, this is a uh, you know 13 year old. What? So it says here made exclusively for the Lynx market. Oh, look at you, man. And we pulled out the Seahawks. It's yours. Hey, we got a free item. Have a good one. You know his name? Victor. Shout out my guy, Victor, man. So our options so far, Kobe Bryant bobblehead, a PS4, or an iPad. If we're thinking about personal use, I'm never touching the iPad. Let's be honest. I might touch the PS4 a little bit. Pause. <laughs> yeah, definitely pause. But the Kobe Bryant bobblehead, that's even more rare because you don't really see those as much as you see PS4s and iPads. It's priced at 200. Let's see if we can... Work them down. Ah, I think it's a good decision though. I think we run that. Heroes come and go, but legends are forever. That's crazy that it even says that. Dude, this is cool though. Can you plug in SoundCloud or no? Yeah, you want to plug in your SoundCloud? I don't know what that is. <laughs> he said, I don't know what that is. Perfect. 125 it is. But do we pick up the iPad? Let's get the iPad too. We'll leave out the PS4. I got a PS5. Now, Wayne, I'm trying to sell this, man. What's the deal? 
I don't take in uh, high-end bags. I don't take a uh, sports member. Beer. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for today. Appreciate it. Have a good one. You as well. So these two products that I just got, we got an iPad and a vintage kind of like Kobe Bryant bobblehead. How much do you think I got these for in total? It's an iPad? This is an iPad. Brand new iPad? Not a brand new, it's like 32 gig. So kind of low on storage. 500? Yeah, is that a lot or a little? I don't know. I mean, honestly, you're just guessing. There's no, yeah, no wrong answers. 500, 300. So I got these for 300 in total. Oh, no way. So I think that's a good deal, right? Yeah. I think so. We're going to test no them out, way. though. So we asked these kids to do a trick. Now they're approaching the car. I feel kind of intimidated. License and registration. Oh, you know it. Let me see it. I did. Let me see yours. I need your ID. You know why you're being pulled over? For being a fan, bro. Come on. Oh, let's go. Nice to meet y'all. What's good? You trying to get a picture? Let's do it. Got y'all. Nice to meet you guys. Yes, sir. Take care. Yeah, you too. Take it easy. Christian and I, like behind the camera, we used to go to high school together, elementary together, literally every school since like second grade. And that would be us just, just walking, walking on the sidewalk, just kind of walking around. I miss that. So first things first, we have to inspect our items that we did buy. We didn't really like charge it or do anything with it beforehand. So we have to do that now just to make sure that it functions properly. And there it is, man. Look how clean that is. It, hey, yo. Came with the charger. That's a good sign. And it came with the cube. It still charges with USB. So it's a little old. Yo, that looks clean. No scratches intact. Got a little camera right there. And it still uses audio, like audio jack, like not USB-C. So it, oh, it turned on. I think from now on, y'all need to address me as an iPad. I'm gonna ask what kind of games y'all got, if I can watch some Netflix, if I'm bored. Now this screen looks like they kept it pretty pristine. Looks like everything is working. So this is the seventh generation and it does have Wi-Fi included. I think that's a steal. That's a steal. This being from Los Angeles and being a Laker fan and being a Kobe fan means a lot more to me. Look at all his accomplishments, man. Let's take it out. We definitely gotta take care of this box. Usually I'm not that type of guy, but with this, I definitely am. I am gonna keep it in the plastic. Don't wanna ruin it, but that is beautiful. You know, the overall experience I had in that store was absolutely amazing top notch even but with the items that we got i do have to say i think we came out on top apple product that functions well and a piece of memorabilia that you'll never forget we got them both at an amazing price and they blew my expectations out of the water but there's definitely more hidden gems to find and i'm gonna sniff them out just pulled up to central mega pond aka casa de empeño we had to drive a little bit out for this place it's kind of in the middle of nowhere and of course we have the classic bar that looks like where the mob would hang out Ooh, i'm excited for this one Got a video game section right here. Yo, an NES Classic Edition. Is that real? No. Dude, that's an original Nintendo right there. I'm gonna keep my eye on that one. MacBooks, iPad. They're a lot more expensive here though. 400 for that one. That might be a newer model though. Apple computer for 600. That's not bad. They have a wide selection here. You know, I don't know if I could ever really get into being like a fisherman, you know? Like, I feel like it's a very peaceful thing to do, but maybe one day in the future, you know what I'm saying? Just sports memorabilia some old baseball cards signed world series magazine i wonder who signed that that's only for 84 dollars, so probably <laughs> no one crazy a lakers signed thing what is that though that's for 25 dollars. joe montana signed jersey that's two thousand dollars i don't see that being a crazy bad deal he's an nfl legend you a niner fan or not nah? Chiefs, okay. Oh, damn. Got some signed sports helmets, some jerseys. Are those signed too, though? Or are they just there? No, they have to be signed. They wouldn't just like display that, right? I think that's a Kevin Garnett jersey. I think. Very interesting. I'm interested right now. Here to make some deals. Maybe slide something under the table, you know what I'm saying? Is that a bust down paddock or an AP? That looks like an AP. Yeah, you can check on the bottom. Yeah. No, that's that's a Rich. Oh, that's a Richard Milley. Nice watch. You like Richard Milley's? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I like the color too. Oh, yeah. Ooh, what? That little bracelet right there? Ain't no way they just have Modern Warfare 2 right there on the top right there that instantly caught my eye we have some more ps4s as well a little bit of a different price at 180 bucks some old school action figures do they got some sony lenses what are we talking here doesn't look like we got that here we got some gopros for 200 bucks we got some instruments some keyboards some computer stuff over here solid shop so it looks like they have an iphone for 300 and it's an iphone 11. i could definitely see if i can work them down because i think that's a little too high of a price 300 for that old of an iphone and they also have some airpods at 100. so i've narrowed it down i found three items that come eye the most at the prices they're at i'm gonna try and work them down a little bit but after we buy them let's see if they work what's your name adrian, adrian nice to meet you can i look at this uh this bracelet right here what's that price then man 8200 wow sadly 8200 is really out of my budget bro so i'm gonna have to put that back can we also uh can we see that guitar as well dude this is clean let's do this one back there okay pretty good condition too oh it comes with the charger and um can we also see those airpods as well that's like the new gen huh okay we'll pick these up as well this one's 300 i wonder if i can work them down i think this is cool so we got a 300. Oh, it already turned on. I just let it rip in the store. Oh, it's a light. Look at that. Yo, that's fire. Oh, no. Look at it. Uh-oh. That's where they get you. For 300 and...
to get it fixed. They almost got me there. So with the iPhone at that price, I'm gonna ask them to take it out, but if they don't give me the best deal possible on it, I'm gonna cancel it out. So I had to go to the salt and spittoon across the street. They only accept cash in there. I pulled out a thousand dollars, but am I gonna spend this a thousand dollars? Probably not, we're not getting scammed. Our items are waiting behind the counter over there. Let's go get us a deal, baby, come on. What are you talking about? Adrian, I need the best deal here, man. So he offered $330 for everything back there, but this is 300 itself. If I can work this down to 150, it's a deal. It's only for? Spectrum. Oh, Spectrum, okay. Oh, that might be kind of hard, because I have uh, AT&T. Oh, and then a guitar, my dad loves playing guitar. So maybe you can show, oh, Matthew plays the guitar. Oh, we might have to do something. Get a good look at this, guys, because after this, we are going to be smashing, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I go right outside, I'm like. <laughs> Appreciate you. So I was on the way out after that transaction, but they thought they can get me. I sniffed out another great deal real quick I want to check out. It's this thing right here. It's a DJI Osmo. It's actually an iPhone stabilizer that goes for like 170 at Best Buy. Obviously, I have enough cash for it in my pocket. It's priced at $70. Two, four. I'm going to tell them this is all I got left. Let's see if we can get it for 50 bucks. Should we go for 40 actually? I'll just ask at first. Can we see this guy right here as well? Thank you, bro. What can we do for this one right here? 50 bucks. Can you do 40? 40 school? Okay. Let's do that. Yo, we legitimately just spin them around and gave them a swirly with the deal that we just got. On the way to the next place, we stopped to get some coffee for that energy. And I'm gonna see if I can talk them down because the price that they said it was a little too high. A place where they have set prices is crazy. Cool, is there any way you can do for five? Like $5? Like the total, can we bump it down to five? They're considering it. I'm just gonna give her the whole 20, bro. She deserves it. Can I give me a first responder discount? No way. How much is it? 808? Yeah. Okay, you can keep the whole 20. whole 20. Yeah, you can keep it. Like for a tip. She gave me an actual discount though. That's crazy. I'm really starting to think that one person owns every single pawn shop because they literally all look the same. All the designs on the window literally look like an exact replica of every other place that we went to today. How's it going? We haven't quite yet stepped foot inside of the jewelry world. We might have to take the first step. A $900 iMac right there. All the TVs are pretty good priced too. And obviously they all work as you guys can see. Got the Simpsons on there. 139 for that one right there. Some more guitars and stuff. I just want a roly roly with a dab of ranch right here, bro. Tiffany Dunks. No. That would be, no. that would be insane. And what size are those uh, Balenci's right there? The Balenciagas on top? Nine. Size nine? Oh, they're heavy. Got some weight to them. Damn, I haven't held one of these in so long. And how much is this going for? Uh, you do like a little lower? Yeah. Let's do Lego Star Wars as well. So I think we took a solid look around this entire place and I grabbed the only thing that really caught my eye, which was that DS. It does come with a charger so I can play it and use it and see if it works. I almost got the camera, but you do have to be selective. It doesn't have a charger, which means I'd have to go get one. But at the same time, if you don't really need it, don't get it. So walking out of the store with all these items, I think we did an amazing job. All very unique in its own way. The final price for all these items were around $350. That's pretty fire. Starting off with the red electric guitar. Personally, I really don't know too much about it, but I think I got an idea. I got my guy here, Matthew. This is the specialist that I called in. He was actually in one of my recent videos. I said yes to him for the entire day. Probably one of the worst days of my life, but now we're back. That's trash. Never make music again. It's good to hear that it works though. I told people that like, even if you have an Android in school, it's okay. Yeah. Like bro, it's probably better than the iPhone. I, I didn't say that. I think iPhone's better. Yo, the knob is missing. I didn't even see that. Maybe that's why it was so cheap, bro. They never specified that that was broken. That's how they get you. I hate getting taken advantage of. Ugh. I think it's good. It's in working condition. Yeah. That's all I needed to know. I just did not know that that was missing, so I'm glad you pointed that out. So I also see some cracks here at the bottom showing the inside of the guitar, but maybe I should have done a better inspection on it in the shop. Next up, the MacBook. I'm honestly really scared to see if this is gonna be able to turn on or even power up. Anytime I've ever dealt with an old Apple laptop, it's never worked out, but let's see. We're gonna pop it open. Hey, yo, it works, and it's fully charged, bro. Come on, they hooked it up. Wait, it's a password. Someone's already logged on to this laptop. This is what they don't tell you. This is what they're trying to hide. Oh, here's a laptop that you can buy from us, but you're not gonna be able to get in. That honestly kind of like disappointed me right now. Now I'm gonna have to take this to an Apple tech for him to be able to unlock this. I'm gonna say I took the L on this purchase only for the fact that I can't get in. But other than that, it does look like good quality. Everything seems to be intact. Apple logo on the back is glowing like my skin this summer. Wouldn't call it a win, but I wouldn't call it a loss. Mid purchase. We got some AirPods. One, there's two. Bro, the glue just fell off. Bro, what? This is the biggest scam I've ever seen, bro. What is this? All right, well, these are super wobbly, but I do want to Clorox wipe these a little bit because I don't know what ears 
these have been in. It might have been Shrek for all I know. Earpiece falling off right away. Who knows if it's even gonna work? Let's see if the light even turns on. And yes, it does. So they should at least work. Go ahead and pair these to my phone. Hopefully they do. Not even coming up on the list. Hello. Yo, there it is. I actually didn't know that they had to be in the case for you to pair them, but there they are. It just doesn't defeat the fact that these came broken, bro. I'm gonna have to be very gentle with these. Hector's AirPod Pro. Hector, you just got snatched, my boy. These are mine now. I've always had the first generation AirPods. I was never this bougie, but uh, let's try them out. My song of choice for today. Let's see. We're gonna throw on Worst Behavior by Drake, a classic. They are working. They sound terrible. Even though the little earpiece was broken, I thought they would at least function a little bit more. No wonder Hector wanted to get rid of these. Ooh. I'm gonna give these an F minus. Look at, they're still in my ear, bro. We're not looking too good. The guitar came broken, then the laptop. Now we got the Osmo right here, the stabilizer that is for your phone. I just got the app right now, let's turn it on. Looks like it's full battery, so that's nice. For this specific test though, we gotta get some good cinematics, so let's go outside. Oh. And there it is. We came at the perfect time. Sunset is starting right now. It looks beautiful outside. Everything's working so far. And look at, I'm moving it. Wow. Damn, that's so fire. There's a little thing on the side too if I want to zoom in. So I can, oh, what the heck? Let me turn it to the left. Hit it with the zoom. Dude, that's fire. All you need is your phone and one of these things and you're straight. Let's try moving a lot. There's a trigger on the back that actually lets you track whatever you're trying to shoot. So where my head's at right now, it will literally follow it. Look how stable the phone is. I am definitely not disappointed with this purchase. Probably the best item we got from that store. Another cool feature on this gadget is called the hyper zoom. Just take a look at this. This is mind blowing. Behold, the final item of today. In all of its glory, we got the Nintendo 3DS. Let's power it on, hopefully it turns on. Blue light, come on. Yo. So just before this, I was trying to find where the pen is, but this is before they even had a pen with these devices. Oh, you can turn it to 3D. Uh, 3DS. I'm really disappointed though, because none of the buttons seem to be working so far. It's only touchscreen, which makes it really hard to kind of type on here. Bro, I can't even, okay, whatever. We finally made it to the home screen. I'm excited that this is even in my hands right now. Let's see if the buttons work now. Yes, let's go. But all the buttons seem to be functioning now. Starting up the game right now. Oh, this is a dream, yo. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, yo. And the fact that it's purple, I've never seen a purple DS. Look, there's the sensors to make it 3D. Bro, this is crazy to look at right now. Back in the day, I beat this game like five times, I swear. With that being said, that concludes our spending for the day. But overall, I do have to say, we took some W's today and we also took some L's. Either some of the items didn't work properly or they're actually broken. But for the ones that did work, I'm super happy with the purchases. I want you guys to tell me though, what was your favorite item of the entire video? My overall conclusion of pawn shops being a scam, I do have to say it's pretty balanced. You really never know what you could find for what price and every single place that I went to today were able to negotiate the prices for me. I love you guys so much. Please drop a like on this video, subscribe to get me to 2 million subscribers and let me know down below. Should I take all the items that I got today and try and go back to the pawn shops and try and resell them back or should I give them to you guys? I kind of already know what option you're going to pick but uh, let me know.